Hey everybody, Coach Toolshed here. Today I'm going to be talking about the Epic Game Store. Now this is something that we just got an announcement for just really last week and they've already made a lot of different moves. They're really starting to shake things up over on the PC side of things and this was displayed front and center at the video game awards that happened last Thursday. If you watched the award show, if you watched all the trailers that were shown during it, you would have seen a new logo popping up constantly alongside stuff like Xbox One, PS4, sometimes Steam, but what you would have seen is the new icon when they're announcing these games, you would have seen the Epic Game Store icon popping up again and again and again. And more often than not, you would see it pop up in place of the Steam logo. There are some games that only launched on the Epic Game Store. and In fact, some games launched in early access phase on the store the same night as the show. And Steam is not going to be getting some of these games or in fact, some of these are timed exclusives altogether. So the question is, how important is this Epic Game Store to the PC marketplace? Now, you guys are going to have to help me out with this. I'm, I want to put this out there for you guys to discuss and maybe educate me a little bit more because even though I have a gaming PC, I don't really use it that much. So I am not really, really fully deep into the Steam atmosphere. I don't really play too many games on my PC at all. I know that Steam does offer certain conveniences for the players, but... The Epic Game Store has done a thing where they're going to be luring more and more smaller developers away from Steam, especially the sort of bigger name indie titles and the developers that sort of have made a bit of a name for themselves but really kind of get overlooked on Steam because of the sheer amount of games that get launched on that game on a daily and weekly basis. There's just too many games to keep up with on Steam. And so if Epic goes out and does maybe a more curated approach and offers these developers a much bigger cut of the pie, because whereas Steam will take a 30% cut out of the profits for these developers, the Epic Game Store is only going to take a 12% cut from the developers. So obviously anyone in business, that's a huge, huge savings. And you were, I mean, if you could have a choice between keeping 70% of your profits or 88% of your profits, obviously that's a no brainer. So if you think that you can sell a comparable amount of games on one platform as opposed to the other, and the one platform is going to take a much smaller cut of the pie, well, obviously, if you're a small-time developer, you're only maybe going to sell a couple hundred thousand copies of your game anyway, no matter where it launches, well, you're probably going to want to go with the one that isn't going to be sinking their hands into their pockets all the way in. Now, like I said, we already had some announcements at the game show. Games like Hades from Supergiant Games, which is a one of my favorite small-time indie developers. They have a handful of games that they've already made that I really enjoy quite a bit, such as Bastion, Transistor, and Pyre. And now when I saw the announcement for Hades, I was really excited to play, and then I, I found it curious to see. It's only available right now in early access on the Epic Game Store. So you'd have to go and install that launcher if you wanted to play the game and I would like to play the game so that that game alone has me thinking about installing the launcher even though as I said I'm just not really much of a PC gamer so that had me going and then also Ashen which is a game that I just put out a review for that is a game that is also has launched on the Epic Game Store now you can also play that on the Xbox Game Pass which is how I ended up playing I played on my Xbox but that's another game where if you're on PC well you can't access it on Steam right now. Even though at one point it was supposed to be available for Microsoft Windows, now it's not even available there from what I'm told. It's only available exclusively for right now on, on the Epic Game Store. And there's been a few more indie games, so stuff like uh, Super Meat Boy. Now that's sort of a high profile indie game. That, that That's a franchise that has a, a lot of notoriety in the indie scene. And their developers came out, and one of them explicitly said that the reason why they want to do it is they, they want Steam to learn a lesson from this and maybe change some of their policies because some of the popular indie games just don't get the recognition on Steam. They don't get pushed to the forefront. They don't get shuffled into maybe the front page or, or two where you might see the game more easily. So they said that they're, they, they want Steam to learn a lesson from this. 
and other indie developers have come out and given different reasons as well. Obviously, like I said, Steam taking that 30% cut is a huge deal. Now, Steam does offer other pricing structures. They will only take, say, if, you're, if your game brings in over $50 million worth of sales, well, then they'll cut 10% off. But indie games aren't making that much money. Certainly not. That's that that's way too much money because the pricing on the games, even if they sell a lot, they're not selling them for sixty bucks a crack. So they're not gonna really crack fifty million dollars. That's really outside the realm of possibility. So, like I said, these developers, if they think that they can sell just as many games on the Epic Game Store, they're just gonna jump ship. And Steam has already seen that and more and more games keep getting announced every day this is happening as we're speaking right now you can go and just you know click on epic game store and you'll see article every day about some new games now some of these are not games that i would play some of these games are maybe not games that you would play some of these games you maybe have never heard of but super giant games for one is certainly a company that i'm a fan of so that interests me and then ashen was a game that's been touted for a few years and so when that got announced on there that's that was two games right off the bat just after they announced the existence of this store, that had me thinking, hmm, maybe I need to install this launcher. So, what do you guys think about all this? I know some of you guys that are subscribed to me are just PC-only players, so this will affect you more than it affects me, really. Although, like I said, I don't really want to miss out on playing this game. I, I'm, I am thinking about installing the launcher just to play Hades. So, let me know what you guys think about all this because I really want I want you guys to give me some feedback and maybe tell me what are your pros and cons for both Steam and the Epic Game Store. I know a lot of you probably already have a lot of money invested in Steam and it doesn't really affect you so much. The, the, the cut that the developer gets doesn't affect you, but this is definitely going to affect the marketplace if Epic keeps getting these games to go exclusive on their launcher, even if it's timed. So I want to know what how, how is this going to affect you? Are you going to stick with Steam? I know some people say, if it's not on Steam, I'm not going to buy it. I know some people are just like, no, I already have five, six launchers installed already. You know, maybe you got Uplay. Maybe you got that stupid Bethesda launcher installed. You already got Steam. You got GOG. You know, you're just, you're just tired of having all these storefronts and launchers clogging up your computer. And I, I can understand that. And this is just one more thrown onto the pile. So I get that. But if you start seeing some of these AAA developers going and putting their games exclusively on the launcher, which Epic Games is throwing cash around right now, so they, they might be willing to do that. But we'll have to see. The thing to remember is as much money as Epic Games has raked in over Fortnite, uh, with Fortnite over the last year, it still doesn't compare to what Steam makes yearly on their storefront. Steam rakes in billions every year, and Epic Games really has only been pulling in that sort of cash just in the last year or so with Fortnite. So financially, Steam could throw more weight around, I believe, but will they? And has the Steam storefront just gotten out of control at this point with so many games? And Epic, if they could curate a nice storefront and only keep higher quality games, less, you know, just absolute garbage, the sort of stuff that Jim Sterling makes cannon fodder out of, well, maybe that's the sort of store where the higher profile indie developers are just going to go and some of them might stay there so like i said this is definitely going to affect the marketplace and really this video is something i just want to get feedback from you guys about this let me know what you guys think down in the comments below i'm coach toolshed please subscribe to the channel if you want to stay in tune headed forward and as always keep it turned to 11